So this video is for the notification settings. So there are three types of notifications, email, Slack and push notification. So in this video, I will tell you about the email setting. You, uh, the users can get notifications for various events like whenever they are added by the admin or if some project is assigned to an FI, a new notice is published or, or, or a new task is assigned to a user and so on. But you can enable or disable the notification from here. Let's say you do not want the user to get the notification whenever a new notice is published. You can simply disable it from here. This is the most important uh, setting. You should uh, <coughs> set up this email setting when before you start using this uh, panel. Okay. So now coming to the mail configuration. You can either use the SMTP details or the uh, not regular mail settings details. Uh, it is uh, recommended to use the SMTP. If you are not using the SMTP, then make sure you make ch changes in the mail form name and mail form email. Otherwise, you may face some issues. If you are uh, using SMTP details, then let me take you through the how to set up the SMTP details. I am uh, using a demo service mail drive to tell you about how this SMTP works. You need to, uh, for every server, there are some SMTP details which you can get from your server. I am using this uh, demo service mail drive. So first you have to set up your mail host. Then your username, your port, and you see password. These details are only used for the SMTP. If you are using SMTP, make sure you have just selected the SMTP on top. Then set up the mail from name and email. This is very important. These both these fields are required for either you are you using SMTP or mail. Then click on update. If you want to test that if your email settings are working, simply click, click on the send test email. Now you can see here that I have received a test email. Okay, so yes, we are done with the email settings. Make sure you update these email settings before start using this admin panel because there are um, if uh, if you are whenever you let's say you are creating a new project or assigning a new task to any member and your email settings are not correct, then you might face some issues so please update your email settings first in the next tutorial i will tell you about the slack settings thank you